Session three, here we are. Semi-final action of the Men's Pairs Tournament at the 2023 Australian Open. Val Febo here with you for this massive clash between Ben Twist and Aaron Wilson, the defending champions against uh, right-at-home Jackaroo, Jesse Narona and his partner, uh, New South Wales representative in 2022, Matt Miles. He was on our stream the other day and in very, very handy form, still in the singles competition. And Val Febo joining you, joining me, is Bowls Australia's GM of Participation and Programs, Chris Wallace. Chris, how are you, mate? Oh, great, Val. And this should be an absolute ripper. Really looking forward to this. It should be two cracking semifinals. Um, going to be some awesome bowls all around. It is going to be fantastic. And Ben Crickstolitis is going to join us, but he is nowhere to be seen. I reckon we need to find him for uh, for running late. I would have gone down to the bagel shop, mate. Maybe. <laughs> so I haven't seen him since he left for lunch, so <laughs> hopefully he's around. Hopefully he's not waiting an hour and a half like our... Uh, Vision extraordinaire Lachlan Williams was the other day. It's uh, games underway here and uh, no time limit for these ones now that we've reached this stage of the competition. Yep, no time limit. 18 ends. The other semi final Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees against Scott DeJong and Nick Cahill. So two of the Broadbeach Bulls' finest be in that semi final. Now, Twist and Wilson overcoming Tony Bonnell and Josh Barry in their quarter, Chris. And maybe if you want, maybe you can scooch over. I might, yeah. Closer to me. A couple of yeah. people sitting in front here, so... Uh, yeah. No, come and sit in, sit, in the, sit in the chair here, Wally. Come and sit with me. There we go. Nice and easier. Easier. Yeah. So, the uh, semi-final went the way... Or well, the quarterfinal, I should say, went the way. A twist in Wilson, 18-8 over Bonnell and Barry. Miles and Narona uh, getting through over last year's finalists. Brett Spur and Ben Winther, 13-10. As uh, we have found Ben Crickstolitis, he's about to sit down and join us. Search party did its job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great opening bowls here. Yep, and ben a twist huge... out the head clear there. So, as you said, no time limit, but the way that these guys have been going, they're uh, going to be fairly quick on the mat, Matt and Aaron Wilson especially. We know how fast he is. Yeah, not, not often that you see leads drive, but that's uh, head certainly called for that and, and Ben Twist executing that pretty well. And ben Did you get some lunch, Ben? I was uh, on the phone to one of my clubs down south. That's still doing my RBM M roll on top of RBM roll on top of uh, uh, having the privilege of sitting down here. So uh, thanks for having me again, and uh, excuse my tardiness, please. Uh, it's fine. Men who can multitask. Look, I'm not sure if I want to excuse you, but I will. <laughs> You've done a power of work, so we'll uh, we'll excuse it. So at the moment, one, two. Miles and Noronha. Oh, we're putting the accent on. No, I just wanted to. <laughs> Don't have to. So, coming underneath there was Disco. Yeah, good wait with that bowl. Been an enjoyable day of bowls again. That last session that we had, well, Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees lit us up. No wonder the fire brigade was here this morning. They knew what was about to happen. It wasn't just for me. Is that what you're saying? No, you were the main reason, Ben. <laughs> but there was, there's, I think, been more than one. As Aaron Wilson looks like he's given this one a bit more grass. He has. Same weight, close to Jack. Likes it, likes it more. You can see the but look on his face. Ooh. It's gone right to the belly of Jesse's yellow bowl there. And uh, he's holding one just. Aaron Wilson with the final bulb. So, yep, as we said, 18 ends. And no time limit. They can take as long as they want here. Because the prize for the winner is a berth in Thursday's men's pairs final. Thursday morning. And you will see it all right here on Bowls Australia's channels and that will be broadcast live if you live in Australia and New Zealand Sky Sports NZ 
And then in Australia, Channel 7 2, 7 Plus, KO and Fox Sport, I think. Oh, I think and just KO. Not sure about Foxtel, but definitely 7 and 7 2. In the 7 Plus app these days. Yep. yep. Aaron Wilson looking to arrive. Great ball, Aaron. Nicely done. Three shots to, to open you. This what should be a cracking match. So, same as they did in the, the match this morning, we were we were watching, and uh, hopefully the uh, the replies there. Yep. So a three to start, and that mat is right back. Speaking of my role as an RBM, all four of these players are in my, my region. Figgy Sports is uh, in the Illawarra, St John's and that, and Cabra Matter, long-time rivals in uh, Zone 12. A lot of zones in New South Wales. A lot of clubs. It certainly is. So is Victory Sports no longer the Figgy Bolo? Oh, it's it's definitely the Figgy Bolo. You just yep. see the... Uh, Victory Sports in, on his logo there, but it, yeah. definitely known as the Figgy Bolo, yeah. a, a magnificent venue, and what they're doing there on the uh, with the externally to that club over the greens is just magic. Yeah, it's a beautiful location, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Almost anywhere on the south coast of New South Wales can't go wrong. And the Illawarra, parts of Sydney, all good places to play. Pretty good region you have there, Ben. Yeah, a lot of it's a very lucky man. I, one of the uh, oh, look, I've fallen into this job and I've fallen in love with it, and it uh, doesn't get any better than uh, than what we we do in in the bowls community. So Matt Miles taking the early ascendancy. You'll hear a few applause around because we have Aaron Sheriff on the rink next door. And Nick Cahill, both of those players bowl here at the Broadbeach Bowls Club. They apply their trade so magnificently well. We'll be able to bring you all the updates of what the score, what the scores are. We've got some fours matches going on next door as well, but they're knockout. Fours game there with uh, some New Zealanders, I can see, and uh, the Charleston boys. I think some of those were in the BPL Cup final. In BPL 14, I think Charleston won it. If they didn't win it, they were definitely there. I remember the shirts very well. Yeah, they're in the finals, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, what have we got here from Matt Miles? Nice. Looks like he's drawn a side hopper on my saw, so it's just slid by. That's a great ball. Nicely done. Ben Twist. And women's pairs action also on this green there in the early rounds. Women's yep. pairs, round ben, two. Benny's other half, Brianna Smith. Wish each other well from yep. other sides of the green. Across the green. <laughs> as what is Twisty got just comes over the top. So these two this morning had a pretty convincing victory. Only needed 16 ends to get the job done. Yeah, Matt Miles and Jesse Nerone, a tight one in their last game against Brett Spur and Ben Winter, winning 13 to 10. Only 25 shots across the 18 ends. Matt Miles just drifting through, but holding at the cross. Semi-finals are always one of the harder matches to play because you know what's on offer. And you don't want to fall just short of being in that pinnacle match. Find this year they'll be watching the uh, rink next door too to see, keep an eye on who their potential opponents will be in the final. Yeah, they will. It's been uh, it's been one of those tournaments where anything can happen. So, Twist and Wilson, obviously that big scare yesterday in the afternoon, but they have enjoyed a pretty fruitful day so far, getting through very comfortably without needing a full assortment of 18 ends. Matt Miles and Jesse Narona defeating Tom Tairoa and Aidan Takarua, 20-18 to 18 in the first match of the morning. And then yesterday, in 
enjoying a one-shot win over Mark Armstrong and Nick Gosley. 16-15 to progress through to the round of 16 in the morning. And right about these afternoon games, they've, they've been different to the first two. Uh, on all the days that I've been here watching them, there's something about the afternoon, the way the, the uh, shadows drift across that changes the green up a little bit and the players have to... Seems to be the players that adjust the best or adjust the quickest are the ones that uh, win the game in the end. Wow, actually, I take that back. Yesterday it was the players potentially that, adjust, that adjusted last. It was just hung in there that got it. But, uh... Two to Cahill and Dijon to start that contest. Although it took Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees a few ends to warm up in the last match before they yes. absolutely dazzled us. And by dazzling us... I mean, they performed magic. Had us out of, their, out of our seats. Yeah, Ben Twist calling our Wilson to play a bit of weight through the head here, just a yard or so over. Looking to slide off the shot bowls or grab Jack, ideally. He's on his haunches, watching. He's got the steer on this, yep. Close, yep. he's got it. What a shot. Well, this has made as many as three, yep. Big high five. Jesse Narona with it all to do. As he surveys what he needs to do. Jesse, of course, a right at home, Jackaroo. Very, very good bowler. Matt Niles, a very good bowler in his own right. Spent a lot of time playing with Jesse at Rula before moving to uh, Figgy. Yeah, the Ill Illawarra bowlers at zone 16 like to, often like to move around. Rula being the big central club. Bit of weight here from Jesse. What's he got? Close to the front bowl. Just missed. Just missed everything. So close. And... Look, I believe that was a three. Try and let's see if I can find it. Signal. Nothing. Look, I'm going to go with a three. If it changes, we'll, we'll alert you. Six zero. Seems to be. Two confirmed by Aaron Wilson. So 5 0. Of course, in pairs, we don't have markers. So rely on the place to do it, and then we've got to watch. It did some. Throwing the quick things up quickly for the uh, skips is all good, but it's easy for us to miss. What fantastic first ball by Ben Twist there. Yeah, wonderful opener. I was not far away with his first <laughs> response, giving you a chance. Jeez, the dominance already from Disco and Twisty. They are, they've looked rampant today from what we've seen. Here comes Ben again with another fairly close one. It's a bit quicker than the last one, I think. Yeah. Another great spot, though. Matt Miles looking to adjust his grass line off his first. Actually, his bowls are hooping a lot now. He's got later the, in the day. XG's turning be beautifully there. Very nice second shot. Ben Twist with a very deliberate pre-shot routine. Yeah, I always find it interesting. He's got absolutely no backswing. Everything comes from uh, from his foot forward. But uh, yeah, well, it may look jittery to some. It's it's 
something he repeats all the time, but right. when he plays his weighted shots. And it works. I've heard Ben speak in the past about the importance of a, a quality pre-shot routine and stick to what feels comfortable and centre yourself and play the shot in your head before you actually deliver it. Yeah, and Matt's done well with uh, three pretty good bowls there, trying to yeah. not, kept that one close, and he's played, tried to play through a little bit to move it around and expose Jack. He's, yeah, he'll be happy with that head. So now the task for Jesse Narona to try and get them on the board. Ben Twist still holding sway with his bowls. Where does Aaron Wilson want to end up? We saw exquisite head construction and analytics in the last game between TZ and Omar. Even Stephen and Kobe as well. This goes first, bowl goes back a good couple of feet behind Jack. Directly on the line. Wait's good, he's close here, Jesse. And he's got the shot. Has yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great shot. shot. Brilliantly done. Laid down, tap, tap, just uh, uses Ben Twist, laid down, tap the jack, just off the centre line and sat for a shot. Fantastic. Forces a change in hand from Aaron. Looking to probably play something similar. He's got to try and obstruct this as much as he can. What's he got? He's not far away, he needs a jack. Oh, oh my. But. Word, that was close. Jesse now also changing hands, probably looking to sit Ben's orange bowl. Yep, following it in. He's close to his own. Oh, decent, decent result there. It's a probably third. Yeah, been indicating that it is only one down. Still a great bowl. Wasn't far away. <laughs> Just uh, trying to get people's attention to try and get them out of the way. <laughs> I hate clicking at people, and I just did it, and I feel terrible. <laughs> so you don't want to yell down the mic, do you? No. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have no qualms, but thanks to the uh, a kindly uh, fellow audience member who uh, <laughs> came and helped us out. Yeah. I actually feel terrible about that. That was terrible. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they can't see you. It's so polite. No. <laughs> so polite, I'd nearly throw things at him. <laughs> Well, here we are, the head hasn't changed. It's a, a, a great shot by Disco there, sitting in behind those yellow ones now. And a, a really tight shot, because moving Jack's a big risk here, but it looks yeah. like he's passed. Looking to rock and roll the orange again here, Jesse. And he has rocked it he's over. got a roll out of it. Two. Made two. Yep. All right, so they're on the board. Jesse Narona. And Matt Miles open their account. In this semi-final, 5-2, the favour of Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist, the defending champions, looking for another final. And Chris, that's a confident bowl. It is, yeah, to play that. Uh, was, there wasn't danger in that, but backed himself, played a brilliant bowl with his second bowl, and then to repeat that again in his third, that uh, was awesome. So Matty Miles is... Uh Almost T to T. Almost T to T. He's got a Jack just a couple of just a couple of feet short there, and the mats hanging over the back down at this end. And this is a fair starter from Matty. Has dropped it there beautifully. So 
such a great feeling as a lead when you can get the mats, you can pick the length, you get the feel for how the jack's going to roll and you can plonk the first one straight on it. Yep. Oh, your first one dropping on it, that's the best feeling. <laughs> it's, it takes a lot of pressure out. Bring you, continue to bring you updates from what's happening next door as well. Nick Cahill and Aaron Sheriff, they are in action. I know Nick Cahill and Scotty DeJong won the second end. And Nick Cahill's just trailed the jack again as Matt Miles looks to put another one in. And we saw him do this the other day at Hallensvale, Ben. He certainly did. He's a uh, he's looking good as a lead. I, yeah, he singles single game we singles game we saw him in. He was a deadly draw, and he's showing it again. He's a obviously a fantastic lead in pairs. And Mary, yes, there's a, a fours game uh, in the rink next door. One I'm actually sitting right behind. It's a game between some lads from Tarrant Point. We'll get to brag again. That's another one of my clubs. <laughs> and uh, Have you got their shirt, though? That's the question. I don't have a point shirt. I'll have to well, speak to Chris Green down there and, uh, and see if I can get one. Disappointing. I hold you to very high standards, Ben. Chris Green, of course, uh, tunes in, has tuned in to almost every one of these. He's probably watching this one as well. I've just got you a free point power shirt. I'm, coming, I'm coming for a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the aim well, is, I reckon, for Ben to have a shirt of every balls club around the country. Yep. Speaking of Ben's, Ben Twist looking to cut this down. So he's three down at the moment in the head. So uh, closer well, here with his third. It'll be two, but I think uh, Matt Miles certainly took honours in end number four. Disco trundles down the green with Jesse Narona following behind. Don't often see Jesse Narona on our stream, so it's good to have him here. Got to know him quite well at the uh, Commonwealth Games last year. Was over there with the team and bought snacks for everyone. <laughs> He's going and raiding the, um, the pantry that they had. Always filled with surprises in that bag. Notice he's wearing uh, Puma Retaliates as well. On his on his feet, they're the uh, first set of Puma shoes I've seen on the greens. Puma, of course, was Australia's preferred apparel supplier. Be kidding out the Jackaroos very very shortly. Yeah, looking forward to that new gear. It's going to look great. I'm looking forward to the shoes. Lots of different colours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't wear two of the same one, Benny? No, I never wear the same colour. I'm wearing the same colour today because I'm trying to look formal for the, uh, uh -huh. for the broadcast. But uh, That's fair. That's odd socks, fair. though. <laughs> Just trying to get a look, but I can't. Yep. I can verify. One red, one black. Yep. He's gotten up to give me the show. Yep. I yep. love it. Aaron wasn't far away for his first. Perfect weights. Jesse just a little bit under with this one. The biggest challenge with those socks is um, when my wife's pairing the socks up, she tries to put black and black together, and I keep telling her that's not a pair. <laughs> now, you know what you do? This might sound <laughs> this might sound weird and out there. Well, I'll tell you after Disco yep. Bowls this. Look at that vision with... Uh, just go and tease you next to each other, bowling simultaneously. That was great. Disco. What's he got? No. Yeah. Gave that extra grass he needed, but also found a bit of extra weight. So one more left to come for both. Mm. Now, Ben, what you can do, this is weird and wonderful, but with your socks, I pin mine. Get a little safety pin. That's how I wash them. And then when they come out of the wash, you unpin them, you put them together, and you keep the pair. Nice. I've never lost a pair of socks. There you go. And nope. when I do, it gives me great displeasure because I pin them all, and I don't know where they, where it's gone. 
it's not a uh, yeah. terrible idea. I know the old sailors at sea, we'd pin our socks to our overalls to get yeah. them washed. So, yeah, good plan. I know uh, Wally gave me the weirdest look ever then. Like, I was crazy. Socks, yeah. Have you ever lost the pins in the, the washing? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, they don't come off industrial strength pins, don't you worry. Just get them from the dry cleaner. Scotty Matheson there saying, Puma shoes, how good is that for bowls? The answer is exceptional. and They're going to be great. They're very comfortable. I've I've got a set of retaliates myself already. uh, Sorry, Ben. Go ahead. Next door, gentlemen, uh, to John and Cahill, four, T Sheriff, zero, after three. I just realised that Scott Matheson, a friend of mine from down at Huskerson, is the green keeper there. He puts on a very good green. Huskerson's one of the at similar standard to this one here. Aaron playing weight. Looking to connect with shot if he can. He's close here. Got Jack. Killed it. He's on the tee. It's hard to see whether it's Ben's bottle in front or the Jack High one. I tend to favour the Jack High ones. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. probably that. Yep. On down. So score is five three on so back, four ends. Yep. Very interestingly poised at the moment. Thought Disco and Twisty had more of the ascendancy early on, but now that has certainly changed. Disco and uh, Twisty conceding two ends in a row to Jesse and Matt. Going quite a bit short of this end. Yep. Trying something different. Jesse and Disco club mates at Cabramatta. As Matt Miles. Well, he had the weight spot on. Carlo watching in uh, South Africa. Good to have your company. Gro- Groblesdal? I think that's how you say that. Groblesdal. I think have to look that up, but it's a... Um, if it's watching from there and getting our work done, it's all right, mate. There's always next week. Very fair first bowl from Twisty as well. That's what he's needed. The last two ends have been owned by Matt Miles to an extent. Yeah, probably thought a bit unusual that Maddie and Jesse went for a bit of a different length there. So, that mile's so close. Oh, he's close again here, though, mind you. What a trail. Tucked that in nicely. But, um, but yeah, very close to these first two bowls last end on a different length. Been on the forehand looking to see if he can bend around that front one and draw the shot. Go not far away at all. Less than half a yard to Jack there. Matt probably just looking to play something similar now. Can match his last bowl and count again. Jeez, he's he's in a rich vein of form, Matt Miles. Yeah, he's focused. And uh and a magnificent draw bowler when he's on his game. And he seems he's definitely on his game today. But we were speaking about how Aaron Wilson this morning came out um, with an agenda or with a... You could see it in the way he walked. And I think Matty yeah. Miles, you can see it in him as well, was very intense. Yeah, there's an urgency about them both. Now, tomorrow, we're going to be at Helen's Vale. So make sure you get down and say hi. Club Helen's Vale. Women's pairs quarterfinals in the morning. Women's singles semi-finals in the second session. If the second session over the last couple of days has been anything to go by, we are in for a corker. And then women's pairs semi-final to round out the day. Down at Helen's Vale. Wally, you're not going to be there. You're ditching us. I won't. I'll be here at Broad Beach. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I will join you again on Thursday or Friday. Maybe we'll be in separate games because there is so much action happening on Thursday and Friday. Oh, there's there? a hell of a lot going on. I'll be here on rink one. For fours and under 18s and all the other 
fun that we have planned. Yeah, plenty of games to watch in person, on TV, or stream through your devices. Yep. Certainly, plenty of bowls to tune into. We'll be here for. So yeah. what's Disco got? They need to get themselves back on the board. So looking to push through the front bowl, which he has. Got rid of one. Now, I'm not sure. I, I suspect he's probably still one down. Yeah, I'd say that yep. Matt Miles' bowl is still in there. What can Jesse do? Can he get any of the jack and possibly push it into that little set of bowls to maybe make it a four? He's very close here. It's close to drawing yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, certainly another counter. Jack High, great bowl. They're just really putting that pressure on. Does make a little bit of a target for Disco, which he's going to have a go at. Oh! oh wow. <laughs> How, did he get through? How did he get through there? How on earth? It was, the cap was just more than a bowl wide, and uh, somehow Disco found but a But there way. were two. Yeah. How did he find both? <laughs> Denise Ryan watching in Brevania. Or Bevania, Italy. We need one of those telestrators, don't we? You can see yeah. if you draw a line through that gap. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, very hard to find a line. Oh, a next upgrade, that's balls. a good idea. Yeah. I like that. Right, I Probably Jesse looked at... I think we'd try to change his head a little bit. <laughs> With Aaron having one more bowl to go, he may not miss twice. It's gone. Yeah, just a little bit under. In the middle of everything. But we'll see if Aaron looks to play something similar. Discussion between Ben and Aaron now. Diane, that's a good solution on how to keep your sock pairs. I don't know how we got onto that before, but <laughs> it's. Uh, there's some ingenious ways as Disco goes big, big again. This time. Not twice. Gets a bowl over Jack. Follows through. Bowl looks like it has gone out of bounds. Yep, but they're covering the tee, so that'll be one. One, one to Twiston Wilson. Score is a 6-3 on five. Well, they weren't covering the tee. They were a fair way off, but <laughs> the shorter end, of course. But The best back is still the best back, no matter how far back it is. Back it is they exactly are. right. And a good kill there by uh, by Disco. Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist looking to progress through to yet another final. And the challengers looking to get there themselves. It's uh, they're still there. Disco yep. has won three Australian Open titles. Twist. Also won three, but one in triples, which is now defunct, one in fours and one in pairs. So looking to complete that set with a singles title eventually. And he said that he would that's one that he really does dream of winning. Ground there, we saw a shot of Aaron Tees and Scotty De Jong. So, haven't got the latest score, but still four nil at the moment on the scoreboard. Yep, that is a uh, four to uh, Nick Carl and uh, Scott De Jong over Aaron Wilson, Aaron Tees, uh, Aaron Sheriff, Aaron Tees, <laughs> Aaron Squared, Aaron's, Aaron's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Squared. <laughs> yeah, we're discussing in the second. Sean game Squared. We have so it. many Squared. Nathan's. Nathan's. Yeah. And look at that, Ben Twist right behind the jack. Beautifully done. Yeah, great opener. Disco was uh, making fun of Twisty yesterday. He had got brand new shoes. They are shiny. He doesn't want to get them dirty. <laughs> oh, they're looking good. Comfortable, those ASIC shoes, too. Yeah, ASIC's... Uh, Generally up there. So many great options. I'm still waiting, from, waiting to give my Pumas a good test. We'll see how they go compared to the Scorchers. Yeah. And those are working for Twisty at the moment with that first ball. The second one, line was good. Ben watching from Carnarvon in WA. 
It's nice and warm up there. Good bowl from Aaron Sheriff next door. Might have heard some applause yep. in the background. I'm glad you saw that, Wally, because I had no idea what was going on there. A few people in my way. Yeah, I've probably got a better view of that rink than I have of uh, the one we're talking about at the moment. There are people everywhere, which is great. And, yeah, once yeah. again, stacked two and three deep everywhere, all around the all around the green. Yeah, it's almost every spare space is filled now. Speaking of stacked, spin twists. Great stack that head full of orange. Here comes Matt Miles. Looking to correct from his first two bowls. Looks like he's done it beautifully. Oh, very, very close. One down is the signal by Jesse Narona. Oh yeah, one down, but he's given his skip a chance, a real chance to to have a uh, to have a crack or uh, draw into that set at the back. Matty Miles, well done. So you're not going to believe this. It was four nil. Aaron Sheriff has just scored a four, I think. Uh, two ends, no, that's uh, two, two ends. ends. Okay, yeah, so they have picked up four shots in the last two ends, but uh, yeah, all level now. So well, four, four apiece, all, four all on five ends. So uh. and right here after five ends, we're at six three, almost a third of the way through this contest. And looking to add a third shot here. Just overs, but uh, Green's in beautiful condition here at Broad Beach and many of the other venues that are hosting uh, the Australian Open this week, but uh, in particular here for the uh, Greens that will uh, hold the finals. He's got the back. He's run to the tee there. Aaron Wilson. Generally only needs one correction. He's so good at maximising his three bowls or four, depending on what discipline he's playing. Line, very good. Just coming underneath. Yeah, the weight was fantastic. It did turn very quickly at the end there. Want to know where everybody's watching from around the world? Let us know. Saw Scotland come up, being very early in the morning at the moment. Yeah, Scotland, New Zealand, South Africa. Haven't had the uh, Bali people sign in yet. To no, tell not us yet. To the pool. Not yet. And Bavania in, in Italy, as you said earlier. Yep. New York. Yes, let us know where you're watching from. We had Laguna Beach. Mary Spice was watching earlier on. Amsterdam. That's a that's the first Love. one I've seen that. Amsterdam. I've been to Amsterdam. Spent two hours there at the airport on a layover <laughs> last year. I was I was there for a week a few years ago. <laughs> Very entertaining place. Oh, quite a few South Africans, that's good yep. to see. Big sport in South Africa. It is a great, great bowls culture in South Africa. Yeah, big fans of bowls. I doubt they'll be super competitive at the World Bowls Championships coming up in late August. They tend to be. Don Pritchard watching in Thailand. Glenn Archer in Bangkok. I wonder if they're at the same hotel. <laughs> Peter O'Donnell in Crusaders Bowls Club in Philippines. Kerry Lee in Zimbabwe. Disco at Broadbeach. With some intent, look at the looking to make a connection. Just wants to move many miles out. Oh, oh, he got Ben Twists. Close. It was not far off. It's there for the taking. <laughs> David Bowles claiming Vladivostok. I uh, doubt we have many Russians watching, but thanks for, the, thanks for the idea, David. Auckland. Brian Chapman. Really good idea there by, uh, by uh, Aaron Wilson to, to just try to move that. Unfortunate to clip Ben at the front. Let's see what we've got now.
Jesse Narona. What's he got? Ahmad watching in Malaysia. Everybody watching this one go down. Jesse trying to steer this one in. Got a turn. He's got close to the line. Oh, he's not far away. Just oh, can't get there. Wow. That'll be one to Disco and Twisty. Are they going to measure for the second? Well, they're measuring for the measure one. First. I think it's measuring for first, yeah. Yeah, the fingers were out before. I don't think anyone was super clear on who was holding. Yeah, I did see them both seem to claim <laughs> claim shot at one point, which is always good, what the skippers want to see. Yeah, definitely <laughs> worth a look. Mm. Mary, loving the other score. Thanks, guys. Now, you can just thank Lachlan Williams. He's got that other score there for you, and we'll keep updating you every two ends as they update their score. And okay, one. looks like a one to Miles and Rona. Well, uh, that's not what I was expecting. Six four is the lead. Janice Forrest there from Mandarin WA. The uh, source of a lot of my family and cousins is Mandra. Venice in Lakes Entrance. Beautiful part of the world. Never actually been. Oh, you've got to get down there. I do. All the great bowling clubs down Lake, Lakes Entrance way too. All of the Gippsland and yep. some great clubs. So a third of the way through the games. Score 6-4. Both semifinals you might expect pretty tight at the moment. Oh, there are lots of people putting out where they're uh, from here. Lakes Entrance in Victoria. Adam Camilleri from the Riff in Western Sydney. Over the crowd here I can see the jack and that's about all. So I'm getting a lovely surprise as Ben Twist Bowl comes around on, the, <laughs> on that side and just swings in and yep. lays next to it. Such a plethora of wonderful bowlers around. Carl Healy walking past us. Looks like he's doing a drinks run. Yeah. Or is he Carl just, or is he drinks? just yeah. going <laughs> to rob Twisty here? We've got you on camera, Carl. Don't make any robberies. Yeah, get, get in the lollies, <laughs> Take mate. His bag. Get in the lollies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben Twist again. Yeah, he's corrected well off his first. Perfect got, weight with his first. Yep, and like. we've got the perfect view of this as it comes down. Just dips under. So perfect weight with the first. Great line with the second. But he's holding two. No doubt Matt will be determined with his third here to reach. A bit unusual dropping those two short. Yeah, he's generally found good homes, but at least he's got one back now. That gives yeah. Jesse something to play with. Jason Borg watching him Mackay. He'll be representing Malta at the World Championships. Very nice with the Ricksons. Irene Attard as well in that team. Irene Attard. I played with Joe Attard uh, down on the south coast a while back. And uh, the Maltese community down there, very strong in bowls down on the south coast. It's great to see. Brilliantly done there from Twisty. That's three. Yeah, three good bowls. It's given Disco plenty to work with. Jesse with a little smile kind of. Bit unsure, but he'll figure out something. Some applause from the neighbouring rink with Scotty De Jong throwing a resting toucher. One nearby as well. Aaron T is looking to go the drive with his second bowl. Yeah, well. Oh, and he's got a result and sprung the jack free. So that's uh, Jack going back on the tee after the lead second bowl. So it's not yeah. something you see every day. And knocking it out and uh, giving... Teasy's first bowls there, as wide as they are, uh, mm. two shots. But Ben Twist here, three surrounding Jack. Maybe Jesse miles. wants it to get down. Yeah, just about had the weight to get in there. Did 
Isco looking to add to the bunch. Yeah, this will get there. Yep, that is four so That'll far. That'll get there. So no real ends that have broken the match open, apart from maybe end number one, but it's been the biggest score of the of the contest so far. That was a three to Twist and Wilson. This one's not going to be dropping short from Jesse Narona. No, Jesse's adjusted well, looking to get in there. Has found one of Ben's bowls in the head. Oh, has he taken and he might have one shot? It. Might yep. have, yeah. yeah Matt's that's indicating one. Ben's going in for a closer look, but wow, wee, that's it is close to wooden bowl. That's a great yeah. delivery. Yeah, yeah. Twisty confirming uh, that uh, they are one down. That's it, the magic finger measure confirming the one. So no doubt Aaron will be looking to push that last ball through. This space in there, you know, oh, he's played heavy. He's going to push that ball out, and he has Got it. what a ball. Absolutely clean. What a ball. <laughs> so, Jesse looking to repeat. Aaron Wilson, that is sensational. Great ball. And now Jesse Narona just needs some muscle memory. He looking stalks it in. Similar. He's What's close. It to hurry? Just needs it to get there. Urging it and on. I reckon it's hurried too oh. much. It's yeah. crossed a bit. Certainly. No, uh, yeah. Ben Twist indicating one down again. Wow. So can Aaron rip it out on the other hand? A little bit harder to hit this one out, but it is Aaron, it is Aaron Wilson. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Playing a bit more control weight this time. Disco. But He's not far. He's going to contact something. He's got, got it again. What Aaron Wilson. Two cracking bowls. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> One on either hand. Made three. Awesome bowls from both Jesse and uh, and Disco there. That's what you love to see in what the a tango. semifinals. What a tango by the skips. Nine for the lead to Wilson and Twist. Yeah, Jesse under a bit of pressure there, being three and four down. Played a couple of absolute cracking bowls, and it took the Commonwealth Games gold medalist to uh, to play a running shot in either hand to remove those single bowls each time. Gail Wallace saying great bowls. Is that any relation to you, Holly? Uh, I know there's, no, a no, there's a lot of Wallaces around. Wallaces around. Artie Sandy, she's around. Ahmad, great to see how aggressive they are. Oh, for sure. You're never going to die wondering these guys. No. Wayne Crawford, you're the man, as a <laughs> Robert Murray. Robert Murray. Aaron Wilson should be wearing a mask. He's a burglar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no doubt Matt and uh, Jesse would have felt a bit hard done by. A little bit. <laughs> Bowls bit... pinched out of the head. But then again, you've got to be positive. Just say, look, it took two unbelievable bowls to get me out of the head there. Yep. And he's not going to be able to do it every time. No. Well, maybe he is, who knows. But the odds of that happening are, are very slim. Nick Cahill with just a little bit of a groan there. Don't think he got what he was after. Some re real attention on that rink next to us. I think the local lads are uh, crowd favourites. 6-4 to Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tease over Nick Cahill and Scotty Dijon. After seven ends. Got to feel for Nick Cahill because the round of applause oh, when Aaron Sheriff nails one is so much larger. <laughs> and Nick Cahill also bowls here out of Broadbeach. Unfortunately, when you're up against Aaron Sheriff. Bowls there by Ben Twist. One on, one behind. Twisty getting things in a great position. A lot of uh, interest there shown by Jesse because yep. this ball. Matt Miles, great ball. Yep. Did everything but touch Jack, that one. What's Twisty going to do? Twenty twenty three Australian Open proudly presented by Apia, who are also proud to support the event volunteers and officials and Remember, 
Tourism and Events Queensland and the Queensland Government, Australia's Gold Coast. Without their support, we would not be here. Ben Twist. Twisty looking to sit that oh. ball, which he has. What a cracker to make two. It's, yeah. it's unbelievable. Bowls of the highest standard. Once again, and uh, do you almost expect no less of what we've seen this week, wouldn't you? It's yep. uh, incredible the way these guys can turn it on. Mandy just crossing, but uh, giving his skipper still an opportunity. Hasn't blocked him off. He's done nothing wrong there. The thousands of people watching online, welcome to you. If you've just joined us, semi-final action, a place in Thursday morning's decider is up for grabs. And we cannot wait. Watching this burn in. Now he's got it around the back. That's a good home. Yeah, holding a solid two at the moment. And no doubt Jesse needing to make some sort of connection here. So Has he Shot got the right weight for it? It looks like it's going to come underneath Wally. Yeah, I think, I think he had the right weight, didn't he? Well, to make that connection and get rid of them. Yeah. But now, now Disco, I think he's going to put one... Yep. In amidst all of their opposition bowls. Yes, Twizzy certainly indicating for him to get to that back corner. He certainly will need to because they have no coverage in that little area. But has Disco actually made it? Yeah, no, that'll get there. That will get there. Jesse's going to try and spill it out yet again. He likes it this time. He stalks yeah. it down the green. He doesn't need a big correction. He's played the similar weight. Has thrown it a touch wider, so he can't be far off the mark here. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Wow. He spilled it Got through into the, <laughs> the wrong through. bowl. It's unlucky. One to Twist and Wilson. All right. Next door in the, in the rinks, the, in the fours game, I, my view of the scoreboard is completely blocked by the... Uh, by a wall of players, so as soon as I get a view of that, I'll have a look. And I can't quite see who's playing on that ladies' link rink there, but the score is 7-13 to 13 after... Oh, they've just jumped in front of it, so I didn't quite see the amount of ends either. That's Brianna Smith leading that one. Disco, very good. Edging around the front pole to draw a second. Just making it that touch harder for Jesse to get in there now. Well, if Sheriff and Wilson do both get through in their respective rinks. That's one of the equations. We mentioned in the last broadcast that there is a chance that Disco and Omar will be playing off in all three finals. They're on the opposite sides of the draw in the fours, in the pairs, and in the singles. It would be something else, wouldn't it? It truly would be. Jesse Jesse's going with big play weight. weight. Jinx. <laughs> yeah. Just got to turn. Just missing. So that'll be a two, it's I believe. Three. Yeah, it's three. Three. Aaron Wilson giving us the indication. So scores twelve four. Yeah, three. Ollie. Inventiveness of the gentleman sitting in front of us That's here. It. He's just well parked himself right in front of the table That's with it. a seat, though. That's it. Probably that it. is as smart as it gets. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, there's no room around the greens. Uh, he's done well here. Just uh, some signals there. The, uh, the score on the fours green is 6-2. to two. And The Tarrant Point leads up. Tease and Sheriff winning the eighth end in their semi final. Can't see what the score was, but it did look like a small number. Yeah, not a no, no room around this green at the moment, so sitting in front of our desk is yep. a good idea. Ben Twist head down after he released that bowl. Yeah, not Maybe. happy. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what he was that unhappy about. It's not horrible. It's only just run through. Yeah, but he holds his, himself to high standards, does Ben Twist. It's not a bad bowl, though. I'd yeah, kill to bowl one like that. Yeah, we'd certainly <laughs> take it, wouldn't we? God. I'd either be in the ditch or illegally short. Matt Miles. And see how important lead bowling is because when Matt Miles had the ascendancy, that was the run of three end wins within four ends that Miles and Narona had. But now Ben Twist has taken the ascendancy back and they've scored two threes. And Disco has just done what Disco does best. That breeze that's coming from our backs now is yep. really quite cold. Yep. This year. I'm wearing jeans tomorrow. Actually, <laughs> Helensvale, we might be under the sun for the whole day, so I don't know. I might have to bring a change of clothes with me altogether. I overpack. And we probably shouldn't <laughs> complain with our southern neighbours at the moment, would we? Yeah, <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> single figures in Canberra. All of you in Melbourne. Much more in Melbourne. And even the, I think the New South Wales Alps is... Uh, yeah, minus doesn't matter. What we don't know doesn't hurt us. Exactly. But yeah, it's just dip below 20 here. It's terrible. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> it's too cold. I want the heater. <laughs> well, I'm Matty Miles there with his second bowl, just matching Twisty up at the back. Probably wanted to stop ahead of him, but that'll do. That'll do for two, but Twisty. Sent this out in a good line here, Twisty. So He has. We're going to watch it come around. And, and yeah, so that will... Almost. Oh, well, second shot at the very least, so... Yeah, but he's given Disco a lot to work with here. A lot. <laughs> Rowdy, you boys crack me up. It was minus two here this morning. I'll swap you. Nah. <laughs> no chance, Rowdy. <laughs> I want my cake and I want to eat it too. <laughs> and John there saying it's uh, nice in Melbourne. He's watching from a heated room. I should tell John to get out more. Is that a relation to you, Ben? I saw Crick. That's my little brother, yep. Ah, nice to see you, John. <laughs> How's Big Bro going? Could he be doing better? I get reviews after each game. Oh, nice. From, from Johnny, he's good. What's the average star rating? Oh, we haven't done stars. Maybe we should. Aaron, very close. Three bowls out of five. Here. Very nice from Disco. Yep. Yeah, perfect bowl. He's got to the stage where I can't even get excited by Disco's bowl, good bowls anymore because that's just what he does. Just become the stand. Just so often, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You almost expect it. Give him uh, two feet of room, he will draw the shot. Not even that, one foot. Wind does pick up from the end that the bowls are travelling towards. So, let's go looking to find a way. Has drawn Jack High and a shot. Jesse you had to play a couple of big bowls coming this direction last time. Probably need to do so again to avoid this game getting away. Yeah, yeah correct well, from his first one. Doesn't like that one early. No. So... He's only got one more to rectify things, and Disco, well, he's got two in there at the moment, as I think Aaron Sheriff has just, or Nick Cahill's just nailed one. Aaron Sheriff running next door. You see that in the corner of the screen. Oh, Jack oh, has that flown up into Jack, the air. Jack, where is that gone? It is dead. <coughs> yep. Aaron T's just picking up bowls outside of shot there. And I don't know if you managed to see it, uh, Wally, but uh, Aaron Sheriff managed to knock one out and went, over the fence, and a man had to catch it. One-handed, too. One on the road, yeah. yeah one hand, one bounce? No, <laughs> just no, on the full. On the full, <laughs> did not bounce. Solid. And Aaron Wilson oh. gets a second in, possibly. No, that's three. That is three. Oh, that's, that. Yeah, definitely three. Yep. Looks like it. Yep. So, Jesse Narona. Jesse Big um, Bowl coming up here. Ginormous delivery. Yeah, Skipper's on the uh, other semi-final. Had two bowls to play with the Jack up. The T now after that end being killed. Respotted. Jesse just taking his time on the mat. What's he going to do? Heavy. He is heavy. How's his line? 
I think. Oh, he's close. Oh, he's close to the front one. Got oh. one. He got one out. Is it one and a look or is it two? He's, Matty Miles won't give any Matty shots Miles up. Is. Two. No, two it is. So score is now 14 4 after nine. This has hopped out, hasn't it? Ten, it hasn't. ten shots on the halfway mark. Yeah. It's just uh, Seemed to happen all of a sudden, didn't it? Those last three ends. Three, three and a two. And if they continue to build on this, there's more of a chance that this is going to end earlier than we presumed it would. Yep, T's and Sheriff winning both of the last two ends. We're just waiting on a score yep. update there. But they were 6-4 after seven. And Nick Carl's just stepped away from the rink at the moment. He would normally do the scoreboard. It's the uh, skipper who's lost the end before, but Aaron Sheriff looks like he's going to go update it for us. That's and an 8-4. Eight, 8-4, four. Eight, four, yeah. After nine. So two more singles. So, so this one has seen uh, Disco and Twisty run away with it, and we saw in the next rink over it was 4-0 in the favour of Cahill and De Jong. And, well, Sheriff and Tees have scored eight unanswered shots. Philip Marnie saying, hi all, sitting right in front of us. <laughs> 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 hi, Phil. <laughs> all the way from Broad Beach. <laughs> all the way from 30 centimetres away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you're enjoying the coverage. Barbara uh, Austin, just a little bit further away in Cyprus. Yep. Just a bit. Pretty close to a place I'd like to be, actually, Cyprus. Mm. Heard beautiful things. So, this one now from Matt Miles, who we, we spoke about this lead battle before, how important it is. And that yep. one has probably drifted a little bit too far. Yeah, very good weight. It's ended up just about jack high. It's, mm. it's close. It's close for shot. Can ben. use those squares as markers. Both bowlers finding their line very well, but Ben's going to just about drop three on the line here. He's nice. looking to move the yeah. jack. Yep. Yep. Belly into his own. And that orange bowl will say thank you very much. While he's holding two there, I'm not sure he'll be... Very happy with exposing Jack like that. He's just hanging out there, ready to be uh, pushed through. Yeah, certainly with Jesse having three to come. There's a couple there waiting now for him. But yeah, next door, Scotty DeJong and Nick Carl. Raced out to a 4 0 lead. It's been all Aaron T's and Aaron Sheriff since. Scoring eight in a row. Both games at the halfway mark. Playing 18 ends with no time limit this time around. Given we have reached the, uh, well, from the quarterfinals on, there are no time limits in these major games. Certainly not. Not that Disco needs a time limit anyway as he gets another one in. Why has it dropped too short? No. No. I reckon he's got it. I mean, it hasn't dropped too far. No. Sorry, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, the other, the other short. Ugh. It's all good, but he the was, he was, short. He, he was covering those uh, two back bowls of Matty because the trail potentially is on here for Jesse. He has played oh. really good weight to just about draw the just shot. Fall, oh, he's probably but got the shot. Falls down. It's uh, sitting very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's going to try and say sayonara to that yellow bolt. Yeah, certainly give me that famous sideways look. Yeah, the side eye. <laughs> I wonder if he does that to little Summer when she does something wrong. Oh, that would be terrifying. <laughs> She's a good girl, Summer. <coughs> Very happy little baby.
It's in your Jesse, own up. Yeah, looking to push this in. Willing it through. Oh, just a bit shy, <laughs> but she's really wanted that to run. Score on ring three, six all. I have no idea what uh, which uh, which team was in front or has had the ascendancy, but it's six all after six. We want to change those numbers up there at one stage because it's not lucky. <laughs> yeah, Aaron's got a bit of decision to make here. Him and Ben having a bit of a chat. Could be one down. Probably one of those ones where there's a little bit of danger. Yeah, pushing Jack through to himself is nice. Pushing Jack through three inches more and uh, he's down again. Yeah. And uh, three inches more than that and he's down too. Yeah, it's almost one of those heads where you know, Jesse does have one bowl to go, but probably dropping one is not too bad. The stage of the game where you're leading by 10. That's it, 10 shots up. Please. Yeah. yeah, you can afford to be confident with what you want to do. Yeah. Let's see what Aaron Wilson has got. Looks like he's just trying to roll Ben's bowl or maybe come underneath. Oh, he wasn't far off, but yeah, yeah that'll just be the one. So Jesse Nerona with a chance to get a second, but it's going to have to be a dead draw, I reckon. He's almost better off running through, except that they don't have another bowl in the head. Jack through to the ditch is a, is, is three shots, but yep. uh, anything, but it's risky. He takes himself out and he's, uh, he's down a handful. Yeah, so Jack once again goes flying next door on the... Uh, Sheriff Carl Rink. It's ended up in the back corner. So, Jesse Narona fires it down. Just lost vision on that, on where the bowl is. This go. Oh. Yeah, Sorry, Matt Miles just standing in the way. That one's nah. no. That's just, just the one. Holding one. Let's give them a chance to change the length, though. Taking one back. 14-5 is the lead after 10 ends of this contest. Matt and Jesse coming together for a bit of a chat. Talking tactics. Australian Open, proudly supported by Major Events Gold Coast and the Queensland Government through Tourism and Events Queensland. Magnificent support that they give us. Throughout this tournament, wouldn't be what it is without them. And the great Queenslanders and holiday makers that are coming to watch right alongside us here at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. Yeah, certainly brilliant to see many locals so supportive of bowls, but also people from all around the country and the world here at the World's Biggest Bowls Festival. These fantastic conditions. Except that wind is a little bit chilly. <laughs> <laughs> We're still still not swapping up from Melbourne, though, are we? Nah. The, I'll uh, complain, but I'll en I'll endure. <laughs> just like a true Rich and Tigers fan. Uh, soft. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Ben. I have the power to just mute you. <laughs> As the uh, shade starts to drift across the green now. Oh, great start, start Matty Miles. Miles. Yep, just left it just a foot shy of Jack, right on the line. So what can Ben Twist reply with? He's sort of held sway in this lead battle. The recent ends. So look to extend that lead. The biggest it's been has been 10. It's nine now. After that last great end. response here from Twisty. Ben Twist. Oh, he's gobbled the whole Jack. The, there you go. The... Uh, Slight change of length. It's only a couple of metres. Really, Ben Twist immediately adjusted. It's the only way I can put that. Matty Miles dropped one pretty close. Ben Twist just a, just a bit better to get around him and move Jack through. Yeah. It's not a huge correction here Matt has to make. Won't get there, though. No, not this time. So those Hensel lights, the purple and black, beautiful colours. The duos. I reckon if I did get a set of bowls, I reckon it'd be a uh, the Richmond ones. Yeah, the AFL ones are great. This 2018 yeah. uh, Grand Final bowl still 
still there. Very nice. And Ben Twist puts in a second. So the bowls are not so great in today's conditions. They were good a few years ago, those bowls. Which ones? <laughs> The, 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 Tigers oh. the West Coast ones, yeah. <laughs> the West Coast ones too. Uh, ti- Tigers, they're coming back. Probably not. <laughs> Philip Marnie giving me the shake of the head saying no. Obviously, uh, hence like being the preferred uh, supplier for lawn bowls at Bowls Australia. Yeah. Their headquarters in Melbourne, they've just moved yeah. actually away from Derribin, haven't they? Yes, yeah, got a... Place out in Thomastown. I do. Pick up all your latest bowls, bowls and a tie. Ben and Twist has a new place right in front of the jack. Wow, it does. That's, That's three good. fantastic bowls. Yep. Look at that. Just all three from both, the exact same weight. Yes, he's found a very good home there. So uh, Matt just uh, telling Jesse, you can do it, Skip. Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> It's going to be hard for him to get around here. Because like, Twisty's kind of blocked everything off. Yep. There's, there's an avenue to get through, but your line has to be perfect, and Jesse's got a massive smile on his face. Yes. And says, I don't know what to do. <laughs> the good news is he, he got some stuff to arrive on. Yeah. So. Well, he's uh, going to have to. Just had one of my uh, favourite Perth sons stick his face in and scare the hell out of me over here, Blake Nan. Ah. Oh, hello, Blake. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's a frightening individual yeah. <laughs> when he drives. <laughs> Righto, Jesse looking to uh, make a connection. One of these wide Has he found twisties. a gap? He's, oh, he's got oh, it. Oh, he's got the jack. He did. <laughs> Jesse Narona has followed it into the ditch too. He really didn't have much else there, so uh, he yeah, had, had to be up and give it a chance. And <laughs> Just fortunate left, to get the jack, but that's... Uh, everything alone. Yep. <laughs> Makes those six short bowls a little bit silly now. I know. <laughs> it really does. As we draw to the ditch. Aaron going close. Will it pull up? Will it pull up? Oh, oh it, it has. did. It, it has pulled up. Just about the last blade of grass. Is he holding? Good. Look at the smile on his face. Ben doesn't want to breathe in. It might, it might suck it back into the ditch. That's it. Is he holding shot? That's the question. No. They're getting nose from the crowd over no. there. No. no. Far out. Everything but. Jesse can look to sit on Disco's bowl here. He may have. He yeah. has. He's got oh, it both. solid. And, oh, it's just followed in. The great bowl. This is an awesome end of bowls. Matt Miles puts his arm around Jesse. Almost kissed him, I reckon. <laughs> Brilliant bowls. <laughs> the lads from the other rink watching that one too. Yeah. Yep. Disco, can he do it again? Perfect weight on his last. Throws it a couple of I tell you what. Wider. I he tell you what. Again. He hasn't, has he? Stalking it in. Oh, disappointed. Oh. Very close. Not too far. We get the indication from a couple of the crowd members. Thank you very much. It's been a great end. It's had everything. Yeah, Jesse's got a bit of a guide here now on what he has to beat. The fact that Disco has drawn two within a foot of the ditch. Got a good line, but he it's might motoring. just be running a bit, I think. It's going to hit the bank at a bit of pace. But uh, look, did what he had to do. Three down. Aaron, last bowl here. He's got a chance to just sneak past his own, probably looking for... Just a few inches, really. Corrected the line well. Really dragged something out of nothing. Has Jesse... He has. That first ball. But Disco has done pretty nicely. This one's going. It's travelling. Hang on. I'm not sure if this will pull up. It is close. Oh, it's, it's just going to slip in. Wow. And the way it fell, it obviously landed on... Yeah, it landed on uh, Jesse's bowl and then rolled in. So... Just, 14-6 is the lead. Nearly two-thirds of the way through. It's been... Uh, the last two ends have just been wonderful, really. That end had a bit of everything. Trailing into the ditch. Drawing to the ditch. Yeah, three great bowls from Ben yeah. Twist to start off with. Yeah. You know, Jesse had to come up with a response, played it, and then the bowls from the skippers after that. Awesome. Yeah, there wasn't really much that Ben Twist did wrong 
there. He absolutely perfected his three bowls. And he blocked off everything like a wall. Exactly. Pushed Jack back and then sat to, uh, to in front, blocking uh, any most of the shots that I could see. And Jesse going to the, to the mat with uh, that really much of an idea of what to do and still managed to smash through and, and clobber Jack back into the, into the ditch and finished um, pretty close to it. It's a remarkable shot to beat it. That's two ends in a row to Miles and Run now. A great start from Matty Miles again here. So probably just need to get a few more on the run to eat into this uh, eight-shot lead. Seven ends to go. Just when you think the crowd can't get much bigger, there are people now tuning in from over the fence, it looks like. so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three deep on the banks and then also on the, on the fences all around the green. How good. Ben Twist. Ben Twist. Got him far off. No. Great line again. Oh, Maddie's first bowl is is that gem of a bowl that I love from a from a lead. Yeah, Jesse giving him a foot to say, look at love similar weight, just throw it a touch water. You can bend around Ben's first bowl. And he's not far away. Jesse willing it on, telling it to go. And that's just about where Jesse's foot was, so good bowl there. Jason, Aaron Sheriff is leading 8 4 with Aaron Tees against Nick Cahill and Scotty Dijon. So Ben Twist now. Faye Winther talking about Blake Nan's drives. My ankle was a recipient of one of Blake's airborne drives at the Vic <laughs> Open. It was hiking about two feet off the green out the back. I hope your ankle's okay. Now there's an update to the score between Nick Cahill and Scotty Dijon and Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees. It's 13 to Aaron Sheriff and 4 to Nick Cahill. They're up 4-0, Wally. 13 shots in a row to the two Aarons. It's uh, some comeback. And uh, Tease and Sheriff looking to go short on their one. They're playing a bit of a length. Ben Twist is looking to probably promote his own bowl or just sneak around it. I reckon he might be trying to sneak around. And he has. And the weight. And what a shot. Is perfection. <laughs> That's an amazing bowl. It's probably the hardest bowl to beat in the game. The narrowest target as you can, you can make with a bowl and the jack. And uh, he's got it. Yeah, he really had to hug his front one to, uh, to get the shot. And that's what he played. Jesse needing to make something again here. Again, we're looking just to disturb that. There's just about no way you can outdraw it. So looking ever so much more likely that we are going to see Sheriff and Wilson against each other in a final. Everything is looking like it's going to go that way. way that Disco and Twist are bowling oh, right now. Jesse close here with his first. Got a connection. He got Shot the sprung and, and won. He's got the shot. <laughs> well done. Sprung out to Matty Bo Miles bowl on the hit, right there. Hit Jack, hit Ben Twist bowl, and uh, Jack was just gently spat out to uh, to Matty Miles' bowl out the wing bowl. Jesse Narona has had some sort of a game, hasn't he? He's played some very nice conversions these last few, and as has Disco. He's just so wide there, but wasn't far off. Certainly a couple of big conversions from Jesse these last couple of ends has kept them in the game. That one's just pushing wide a bit, but to play the big bowl is last. Yeah, 
Yep, been calling Disco to play some good weight through the head. And it is going to be good weight, all right. Looking for bowler Jack. Oh, he got Twisty's oh, bowl. Got the front bowl and it's got Jack. It'll go to the T. And he's still got one more. Or did it go oh, to the no, T? Jack no, that stayed in. Yep, Jack in the ditch. And and ricocheted uh, off a few things. There's a bowl back there. Is that one of Jesse's bowl back there. No, there's one right on the ditch there. I think that's... That's Aaron's? That's no. Disco's. That's Disco's, yep. Yeah, Disco's bowl at the back. Yep. So they're holding one. And Jesse Nerona must think, oh my God, I've got to play another one. Yeah, the mark is just, just near the orange bowl behind yep, Matt Miles' legs on the camera. Yep. Just, try to just in between his calves right down there. Pretty much so, yeah, he's got, yeah, it's probably two or three feet to draw. It's not a lot of room. Yeah, right in front of Matty's uh, left foot. Certainly had played some big bowls in recent ends. Going to the ditches, one that, oh, no, he's clunked into a uh, twisty's bowl at the front. And unfortunately, it looks like no, that promoted one. So, yeah. <laughs> no, Jesse certainly played some big bowls these last few ends, but on this occasion, Aaron got the result from the weighted shot and looks like he's drawn the free kick for three here. Yeah, so it looks like three to uh, Twist and Wilson, taking the score to 17-6 after 12. Long way back from here with uh, six ends to go. That's a good question there by John Seitman on the feed. How do they select the uniforms for the final? Or is it a certain side of the draw, just the first player to finish their semi-picks? I think it could be bowl colour. Uh, yeah, closest to the bowl, something like that. <laughs> ben Twist with a decent opener once again. Right on the line, just about. And, uh, yeah, half a foot short of Jack High. Nick Carl having a run next door in the semi finals. He's to the bowl and Jack. Jack disappear out the side of the rink, coming onto the rink of that we're telecasting, and Jack will go oh. back to the tee. And Matt Miles, like, yep, Scotty De Jong and Nick Carl have picked up three shots. They needed it. Yeah, so that takes a score to thirteen seven after twelve. And gives them just a little sniff. Hmm. Ben Twist with some work here to do. Matty Miles has dropped one beautifully next to Jack. He's not far off Twisty. And one back and in a handy position. Yep. Certainly still time for, for Miles and uh, Nerona here. Especially with Matty's throwing in openers like that. Probably wanted this second one there as well. It's just going to be a touch short. Ben on a good line here with his third. Yeah, I was about to say the exact same thing. He's uh, can see it, see what he wants to play, he visualised it, and he's <sighs> very oh. close. Yeah. Just shifted it back. Oh. One down, but bowls in a good position. Matt with a chance to draw a second here. Looking to add a little on his last. Probably really needs to get behind too if he can. Count and sort of cover. You don't want to end up with three bowls short of Jack. Yeah, just... Fortunately, just opens the door a little bit here for Disco to make any sort of connection. Yeah, um, takes those three bowls out of play. Needs absolutely no space, Disco. Yeah, Twisty's... Uh, while he didn't 
maintain shot on that, he's probably put himself in the best position for what comes next. Yeah. As the shade comes across the green, the green has dropped just a touch of pace, not a lot, but a, a bit. So Aaron Wilson. Aaron Wilson, oh, not yeah, far away. Leo Brayton, how good's this final going to be? Well, still some twists and turns to come. But at 17 to 6, if Disco and Twisty can extend that margin beyond 12 with more than two ends with two ends to play, it'll be over. And Shane Smith's right, the cream has certainly come to the top and still rising. It's getting better yeah. and better. Very good vol there from Jesse. He's almost got a second shot. It's Shane Smith, of course, another good uh, South Coast bowler. Doesn't get on the greens as much as he should. Disco. On, disco. disco. Absolute cracker from Aaron Wilson. It is a disco party. Cream has certainly risen to the top. Jesse probably looking to see if he can swing under. Get a bit of Disco's bowl will be first prize here. But there is other bowls coming in. It's gone around them all. So Disco, what's what's the aim here, Wally? What's he looking to do? Look, he can almost play the same. He's probably. A, Worried Jack coming through with uh, Jesse playing. Yeah. No doubt a bit of weight on his next. Um, Ben's bowls out in the back right corner here in a good position. Maybe adds another bit of cover or whether he tries to roll his own and take uh, Jack away from, from the bowl that Jesse could roll in. Looks like he's playing something similar. Hoping to get under Ben's bowl and maybe promote his own a touch. And he has that is magnificent oh. bowling. <laughs> what an outstanding bowl. Wally, you called it to perfection. Yeah, yeah it just made it that touch harder now for Jesse to promote the bowl on the jack. Uh, outstanding. I wish I could play them like I called them, that's for sure. He is he's out. unbelievable, Aaron Wilson. He's certainly sensational. You call him pretty well, mate. That was uh, exactly the You called that shot in all the way. Well done. Yeah, it's just to said <laughs> all Jesse could do was look on in, in amazement then and realise it's just made that touch more difficult for him, but still a shot on here. As I look around, I see uh, Lucas Protopappas here as well. He's had a really good day yesterday in the, uh, in the, in the para, I think he was in. Yes, yeah. Our repairs. Our right at home ambassador, nonetheless. He's a, look, Jesse, he's, oh, he's just pulled it a bit. He, fit, he had that weight. Right away for the shot, but so that'll be another one, I believe. Good look, one. It is, yeah, just one. So eighteen to six, and if they continue to score big, they'll be in well a lot of trouble here, Jesse and Matt, because these two have come to play. Yeah, Matt and Jesse really needing every end now for all the difference five to go. Got to win them all. And win them well. Yeah. But yeah, it certainly will be an outstanding final for whoever does make it through. Some um, some some great finals across the board. So if you do have a chance to get down here to Broad Beach on Thursday or Friday. Uh, there will be grandstands in place for the, uh, the the main finals, but there'll be finals on on almost all greens, semi-finals and finals throughout the day. Some cracking matches, not just the open events, but the uh, the multi-disability events as well, and our juniors, of course, over 60s pairs. Some good opening bowls again from uh, from both Ben Twist and Matt Miles. Matt Miles just getting the first shot there. I just saw 
Chris Green pop up on the uh, on the broadcast. The you'll be interested in the Tarrant Point scores. They're eight all in the fours next door after nine ends. It's a close game there. We won't be switching rinks, Lenny. <laughs> Definitely not. Why would you want to go away from what Aaron Wilson is putting together and Ben Twist? Because it's so good to watch. Shot many miles. Yep. Yep. Two good openers. So at this stage, we play 13. This is in 14 of 18. At this stage, we will not get that full count. And Ben Twist. Ben Twist. Ben Twist. Oh, yeah, he had that confident walk all the way down the green, didn't he? Felt good out of the hand and... Matt Miles, great first two. Chance to just sneak past Ben's. Can make three. Well noticed there, Chris. He, uh, ben Twist does get a bit of a strut when he's... He does. Oh, and that's a great oh, Matt, Matt Miles. He's got a bit of a strut too. He, does. he should he too. Does. That's a great head of bowls. And, um, yeah, look, Matt, his best end of the game. How yeah, good. Matt Miles. And risen to the challenge when it, when it has been needed. It's a must-end win for, for Matt and Jesse here, and yeah, Matt's given Jesse the best head start he could. But this is the man that always has something to say, and he's made a couple of cracking conversions. Aaron Wilson. Oh, 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 wow. that was Very not far goal. off. Ended up getting second shot. An inch of correction, and he's there. Margin at 12. Indicating there's just one. There is still a little trail on here for Jesse. Yeah, a little trail, just a couple inches back. Yeah, anything. Oh, I, don't oh, it's, I think it's just going to duck under. Yeah. Look of frustration on his face. Yeah, the voices go down. Uh, this, these bowlers are right you know, within ten feet in front of us, and we don't want to disturb them with our loud voices. Here comes Aaron Wilson. Aaron Wilson, again, cool. just underneath. So let's see. Doesn't need to change a lot here, Jesse. Yeah, touch he was water. close before. He was. Again, the shot remains still there. Aaron's left the door open a little. Jesse has thrown it wider. Maddie's starting to get his crouch on. Hoping Jesse. for a bit of jack. Oh, oh, I just didn't get all of it. Tucked it away. <laughs> now, is it still one? That's the question, yes. Yeah, it looks like it's just one. It's really unfortunate there. He's oh, mightily close. It's Aaron Wilson. <laughs> And now, Jesse can just have a right smile as he walks down the green. Sorry, Val. Now, what's the option here is there's this guy's little girl, Summer, going past us here. Yeah, again, look, it's one of those ones here. There's, there's almost an open draw on, but he's, he's yeah, looking to play that open draw. He probably doesn't want to move the jack too much himself. No. So just, you know, throw a side touch up would be brilliant. And he's the sort of guy that can do it. Uh, he's gone under. But yeah, look, he's, it's one of those heads where dropping one's not the end of the world. Unless he promotes. <laughs> oh, very close. That was a very fair effort, knowing that he couldn't really move the jack. Multiples um, needed, and they know it. He yeah. knows he's got to move jack. Yeah, Matt's just called for... He's put the foot where he'd love it, just uh, behind Matt's shot bowl there. Split the triangle. Throw an extra, and... Um, yeah, desperately need the multiple here. They do. All right, Jesse Narona to keep themselves in with a sniff. Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Teasley, Nick Cahill and Scotty DeJong, seven to uh, five. Uh, oh my God, fifteen seven. There we go. Jesse already playing some. Has played some big bowls in this match. 
looking to swing around, get a little bit of jack. Jesse Narona. Now, the crouch is on here from Matt Miles. It's Jesse, Jesse jogs. Might have it. Jesse, Jesse likes jogs. It. He oh, he's done enough to crouch. Got all. <laughs> yep. Got His it. Mate, too. Desperately wanted three, but. Oh, to, it was a great effort. Outstanding bowl over a few inches, and uh, that was three or possibly four. It's a. 18 8. Oh, it's a. That's a good bowl from Jesse Narona. I know it wasn't the score he was after, but my word, even getting two is difficult. Yeah, yeah. That's such a good draw bowl. I, around that, that side, just to sit. I did think the bowl had, um, just watching it on the, on the screen there, had fallen backwards and pushed Jack back far enough to give, <laughs> to give shot away. But uh, holding two, brilliant. Ten shots in it. Um, four ends left. Yep. Sandra Bruce appreciates it. Top bowl, and it certainly was. Yep, the door remains slightly ajar. It is possible. Ten shots and four ends. The way Jesse and Matt have played throughout the event have been outstanding to get to the semi final. They've run into some awesome competition here, but uh, that's to be expected when you get down to the semi final stage of the world's biggest bowl festival. And yep. Wins pairs. And when there's, it's littered with international, national, state stars, it is not easy. And Jack placed. Let's yep. get this 15th end rolling. Yeah, looking to go shortish again. Jack, a fair way up the green again. You know, Jesse and, and Matt, not in the position where they can really lose any bowls, especially from a disco drive. So uh, they need multiples. Best chance of getting multiples is having all your bowls on the green. It's really cold now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That wind is picking up. Adam Hall, yep, a bit late for this one, but uh, come to next year. We'll be back on the Gold Coast next year in 2024. Yeah, Adam, we've only got a couple of days to go, so just a little late, but June 8 next year. That's when it all kicks off. June 8 to 21. Book your accommodation and get your team in ASAP. Don't miss out. Yeah, good starters here again from Matt. Just found a little bit of a second wind here. Length, change of length, gone a bit shorter. and Ben hasn't been far away, but far enough for, uh, for Matt to be holding here at the moment. Oh, pretty good pr reply there, Ben Twist. Good to see uh, another important BA participation member sitting on the, uh, on the feet at the moment, Brett Hughes, watching from home. Adam Hall says that he only wants to play in the finals. <laughs> so, <laughs> look. Oh. Maybe. I'm, I'm, look, I'm not sure how you go against these guys, but uh, they're bowling pretty well. <laughs> Reckon you'd have to beat your name. Might have to be Leo Messi for us to allow you to do that. Yeah, Ben Twist close with his third bowl here. Got oh, it. Has touched the yep. jack and holding <laughs> shot. And that contest within a contest, the lead bowling, I think Ben's had the advantage, but only Miles is playing some pretty good bowls to get, uh, to have, and, and pushing Twisty to play the best he can to, uh, to beat him. Yeah, and if you missed out on your chance of playing the Australian Open this year, of course there's other ways to play in finals. The BPL Cup being played all around oh. the country at the moment. There so, is. Uh, get involved at club level. Go onto the bowls.com.au website. And, Find uh, out more. Yeah. Getting into BPL, it's my favourite format of the game. It's fast and it's uh, exciting. Yep, find a couple of mates, open gender, so men and women playing together. And, uh, yeah, best club teams will be telecast live on TV at uh, the national finals at the end of the year alongside BPL. Which edition are we up to now? Uh, we'll be up to BPL 7, 18, 18, 18, 18 yeah. There we go. Yeah, BPL sorry, question 17. without notice. It's, no, yeah. that's... Uh, <laughs> 17 was uh, Moama. Yeah, right. hard to believe how many I started at BPL 12, so... It's already going to be my seventh Bowls Premier League. Yeah, that'll be Club Pine Rivers in November, and the way this year's going, it'll be here before you know it. But, uh, yeah, still chances to get into the BPL Cup Finals with a team of three at uh, many venues around the country. Aaron Wilson, I reckon he's going to have a crack at this Matt Miles Bowl, try and get rid of it here, sit it, stay. 
certainly in the area. Or close just to Jack s- tuck it towards Ben it. Twists. And hmm, I reckon that's probably two. Yeah. Jesse, last bowl here. Needs something. Really needs Pleading something. Pleading for something. Staring at it, hoping it'll get down in time. Weight. It's, it's going to affect the, something. It's got the jack got something. sprung out. Oh, it could be two out there. Could be. Yep. 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 Looks like it's gone hit. Yeah, Matty, Matt Miles bowls out there on the side, holding two. And Ross Craig from New South Wales, oldest bowling club, Balmain Bowling Club. Thanks for the uh, compliments, mate, and thanks for tuning in from Balmain. Yeah, great club, Balmain, and uh, it's good that St John's are taking care of Balmain these days as well. So, proud history of Balmain Bowling Club. Great venue. Fantastic venue, yeah. Oh, disco. Yeah. yeah just well, <laughs> just when the door was slightly ajar, he's a... He doesn't just, need... done enough to probably draw second, maybe, or is it shot? No, nah, that's no, one. it was one. There we go. So Had to be. 19 to 8 is the score. Now, they lead it by 11. They score a two on this end. It's over. This could be the last end of the contest. Let's see what happens. They'll want it to be the last end of the contest. That's for sure. They want to go and relax and prepare for the final. A blankie and a hot cocoa, Val? Yeah. <laughs> a what? A blankie and yeah, a hot cocoa? I think so. <laughs> I had to think about what you were saying then, but no, no, no. I agree. The ashes on. Yeah, I just said blank as well. I thought we were playing blankety blanks then. (laughs) Fill in the gap. (laughs) So, Ben Twist to kick us off. Longer length than what we've previously had. End number 16, possibly the last. Jason Parkinson, morning, Valentine. I assume you're not uh, not, uh, not from Australia? No. No. Because it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I thought he'd had a really good sleep in. Yep. That's a decent sleep. Miss those days where you can just <coughs> stay in bed until 4 p.m. if you wanted. Have a lazy day. Yeah. Fair first bowl from Twisty. To but, uh, yeah, Matt and Jesse both be desperate to reach the head with every bowl here, you would think. 18-9 in favour of... Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees over Nick Cahill and Scotty Dijong. So it's looking like this is going to be the final. Aaron Twist, uh, sorry, Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist. And then Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Wilson. Uh, and uh, oh my God, Aaron Tees. It's been a long, it's been a long <laughs> fortnight. A it's a lot of Aaron's. Yeah. <laughs> been in the sun, now you get cold. You know, body's sending you strange signals. So, Lockie. Lockie has just uh, alluded me to a fact here. No men have ever gone back-to-back in the Australian Open pairs. Emma Brown and Emma Spicer. Sorry, Emma Brown and Nolene Dutton. Sorry, did it. In 2014 and 2015, were the only pairs to have done it. Only pair to have done it. So elite bit of history that they could achieve. Many miles just clinging on here, yeah. keeping their, uh, their chances alive. Really needs a, probably a second shot in here. He's dropped this one short, I think. And Jesse just mm. waving it on. Or oh, hopeful. It got there. It got there. Yeah, yeah she it's it. Well, that extra wave brought it home. Yep. So, a two needed for Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist to finish it off now. Highly unlikely that it's going to go to the final end. Argent at 11. Aaron Wilson. Yeah, there is an open draw on. He can tuck it around the back closer to one of Ben Twists. Be looking good, but that is going to come around. Probably yeah. not going to come into play. Wait, it's just about good enough. Jesse desperately love to tuck this in behind Matt's front two. A tighter line than Aaron's. Matt waving it in. Yep. 
Good enough for three. Does Aaron look to clean these out now? Yep. Yeah, he's playing that shot. Oh, he's running in behind it. And he knows he's close. He's close. And he's got two out of the three out of there. So He just yeah. knew straight away that he was on. Yeah, this is where you could, you know, you've got the advantage of being 11 up and, uh, yeah, you know, taking bowls off the green certainly makes it hard for your opponents to score plenty. So another bit of history will be on the line here. Lockie Williams with another great stat. We will have at the Australian Open our first multiple men's pairs winner. No male has won two titles in the men's pairs. So it'll either be Aaron Sheriff or it'll either be Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist. And that's staggering considering we've been going since 2005. Yeah. That's an amazing stat. Had some quality players make the finals through the years, but no one that's done it twice. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Lockie Williams. So Jesse and Matt holding to needing to hold at least these to have the game continue. Aaron Disco. looking to just run them out of the head completely. Or the Jack. Jack will do. Jack oh, ditch. Oh, Jack bounces off a back bowl. And, and it is just about handshaking time, I think. Well, he's got one more. They hold two. But I dare say Jesse will probably cut it back down. Or do they only hold one? No, that's two. Jesse just has to beat that orange bowl. And we go one more end. Jesse sent it out on a good line. Needs it to sneak past the second shot. Probably not going to quite get there to beat the first shot, but. Yep, one, one it is. One it is. Yep. So score is 20 to 8 with two ends to go. Yep. So. Can only tie. Yep. Two maximums for an extra end. So this will. Pretty much be it. We haven't seen a six scored. The biggest that we've seen has been a three. That will have to double. It's been a monstrous performance from Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist. Equally as monstrous on the next rink over from Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees. So many Aarons. As you can see in the footage there, the uh, bowls have scattered all over the place. So uh, Jack going... Uh, couldn't see the final score over there, but it's uh, it's like Scotty, Scotty's and Nick's map. Alex, look, I, I I get what you're saying, but look, I don't think we've declared them. We've said that is highly likely going to be the case. And when you need twelve off two, especially with Ben's first yep. ball there. Miles. Yeah, that's a, that's a great response. When you've, you've got to be there, you've got to give yourself a chance to get six is going to be hard. Yep. But uh, dropping anything short is uh, just about takes you out of the game. Yep. Ben Twists is in the area again. Oh, two absolute crackers. He's uh, playing the last ends uh, as well as he's played any ends, ends today, I'd suggest. They want to be done. They want to go through to the final. Good response from Matt Miles again. Was. Both Matt and Jess have played some really good bowls through this game, but uh, just run into some two players in red-hot form. We've seen that um, in both the games we've covered this morning. The, the, the team that went down didn't go down uh, through 
lack of skill, just a uh, just got beaten by ten percent or so by players at the uh, absolute top of their game. Yep. Great three balls there from from Ben. Matt with a chance to tuck this jacket in and could make three. Looks good in running and he's close. What a head of bowls this is. Amazing. He's just unlucky to go down there, but had to give it a chance. Chasing six to force an, another end. Yeah, always highly unlikely to see those sixes, but you never know. Yeah. Does Disco just run some bowls off the green here? So tomorrow. Over. Also tomorrow, women's pairs to start your day. Then women's single semi-final action. Then again, women's pairs semi-finals. All at Helen's Vale, if you want to come and watch. It's been a great end of bowls. As yep. Aaron Wilson gets one around the back, that essentially means that the six is almost going to be nigh on impossible to achieve now. Yeah, Jesse needing to sneak around Ben's front one, nosing the jack and getting it to spring to those back three. Not impossible, but... Would take a ripper of a shot. Really doesn't want to cross the head. Just, yeah, that's making six harder now. Had to play that weight. That was yeah. perfect weight for the shot. Yeah, perfect weight. Just didn't go out, out far enough crossing the head. It's not what he wanted to do at all. Aaron Wilson is going to put another one in. Twisty's happy with it. Jesse probably realising it's hard to make six now. Going to play similar shot. Hoping for some sort of result and then maybe a new miracle at the last. But Crossing the head again. Yeah. <sighs> Where is it? I can't see a way to it myself. No. Uh, Jesse may just be having a run here trying to clean the three orange balls out of the head and see, see what, what happens. happens. Big weighted shot. Got a couple. Yeah, cleared. cleared so that'll be out, but that's, uh, one at the end there to Ben Twist and Aaron Wilson. They finish it off 21 to 8. And we will be shaking hands and... Twisty and Disco, well, they will bid for history and try to become the second ever pair to defend their title at the Australian Open and the first men's pairs to do it. Looking forward to what they can do on Thursday morning ahead of the women's singles contest, but it's looking ever so likely that we're going to see Aaron Wilson and Ben Twist take on Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tease, but we'll wait for that match to conclude. Well done to Matt Miles and Jesse Nerona, a great campaign too. That was a fantastic bowls all the way through to the semi-final. Yep, certainly it was. And we'll just hang on and see what the uh, what the next score will be. But uh, no, this that was an amazing performance from Disco and Twisty. And look, they've been on it all day. They've been so rampant. And, and we said it from the first bowl this morning with Disco especially that he looked Unbelievable and Twisty's leading was exemplary, wasn't it, guys? It was no outstanding, great bowls all around, but uh, yeah, it's uh, no Ben Twist and said Darren Wilson making what, gonna be one half of an actually mouth watering final, yep. on Thursday. It's looking ever so prevalent at the moment that it is going to be uh, Disco and Twisty against Omar and Teasy, but we'll uh, try and bring you the next update. There's a couple, there's one bowl left, so stick with us. We'll, uh, and we'll keep you posted on what, uh, on what that score will be. Yeah, we're just trying to get an update from the other semi. Yeah, so it won't be too much longer, but... That looks like they are shaking hands. Yep. Yep, so... So... Second last end, it looks like, yes. Hands so have been shaken. Well, Nick there Carl it is. make up the difference. So Aaron Tees and Aaron Sheriff on their way through to the final as well. Well, there it is. Quite rightly, we picked it earlier on. And it is Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Tees to face Ben Twist... And Aaron Wilson 
in the men's pairs final at the 2023 Australian Open. We could not ask for a better decider to the competition. All four of them are in sensational form and we look forward to seeing that at the Broadbeach Bowls Club on Thursday. Ben Cricks, Delitis and Chris Wallace, thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks, Val. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, no, thanks, Chris. Thanks, Val. Uh, a day of remarkable bowls, one I won't forget. We'll see you all at Helens Vale tomorrow. Looking forward to that. It's women's pairs action in the morning. Then at uh, that's at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Then we've got women's single semifinals. And then after that, the women's pairs semifinals. So looking forward to all of that tomorrow at Helens Vale. Come down and say hi. It's been Val Febo, Chris Wallace and Ben Cricks, the lightest with thanks to Apia and Australia's Gold Coast and Tourism and Events Queensland. And a big thank you to Locke behind the scenes as well for everything he's done behind the uh, behind the camera. Looking forward to tomorrow.